Hello, and welcome to whatever number of episodes this is on the server. Before I get into what's changed since last time, because some stuff has, I want to play Hide and Seek with Seastorm and Mr. Moon 37, along with Spleef. Yeah, Mr. Moon 37's even changed stuff on his paw right now. <laughs> sure, me can't have two E's. <laughs> Yeah, we have played this once before, only instead of Seastorm we played with Dank. Oh, okay. So, this, yeah. I have played this once before. We're going to let him decide who's it first. Mr. Boomy37 and he is opening all my trapdoors. <laughs> Come on. See, sign makes no sense. Oh yeah. You will need some food in this because you'll lose hunger. In this building. Go anywhere in this building. And someone broke a purple wall. Doors open when seeker starts count. Dang. Counts to thirty. Who's it first? Do you want to be it first or do you want one of us to be it first? Oh yeah. You have to turn sound off because otherwise you can hear the other players and where they're going and stuff. So yeah, that just prevents you from cheating. Because you could like hear them messing with doors and know that they're in the area. Uh, temporary. You... You may go anywhere in or on the queue. You may not... Oh, Mr. 37 is fooling with the trap or the lever again. Oh, that's a weird silence. Anywhere in building or on roof. Who's it first? Yeah, I haven't exactly explained the rules. He was just like, sure, I'll play hide and seek. So I was like, okay, start recording. Uh. Not me. I want to hide first. Okay. Count to 30. Looks like Seastorm knows what he's doing. Okay. I'm going to hide somewhere. <laughs> I can't exactly say where I'm hiding. Oh, I didn't even think of this, because Mr. Booby37, he can hear me in real life right now. So if I were to talk about where I'm hiding, he would hear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, shift. Oh, you aren't allowed to move after he starts, so. Guess this is where I'm hiding. <laughs> Maybe not the best place. So. Let's see. Where could he be? Well, I should keep F1 open because then I can see the chat. Oh! <laughs> he found C right away. <laughs> now they're going to. 
but the two of them are going to team up and try and find me. And then, <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> uh. So I don't remember. I don't remember if the last or the first person found is it. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, apparently I'm it. Yay. So yeah, we'll probably at least I'll be the seeker once. I'm not sure how long we'll play this. Maybe this will be an entire episode. In the next episode, we'll just be updating. Who knows? Because we also want to do some spleef after this. Yeah, I said in the rules, so I can't remember. Okay, where I am lost. <laughs> Oops. This maze can be hard to navigate. <laughs> oh nope, that's oh that's my hiding spot. I know, uh, well, that's where Sea Storm hid. <laughs> I hid in that spot one time, and it took them forever to find me. Like, it was ridiculous. Aha! Yay! Three, two, one. Okay. So now I just look away with my sound off. So I can't hear where they're going. And then they hide for about 30 seconds. And I'm looking at my watch to see the time. Which you guys obviously can't see. <laughs> yep, but stuff has happened. I don't even remember if Sleep was there last time. I think it was. <laughs> I'll explain all that after. Okay, I am coming now. <laughs> so there's three floors. The maze, the rooms, and the leaves. The maze, it, it, the rooms is just a bunch of rooms. The maze where we were before, and the leaves is just a bunch of leaves placed spontaneously. Now the rooms, I know it looks easy. But it actually, you can't just look in all the rooms. Some of them, like for instance this one, have a little back passage. And so you actually have to go in the rooms. So yeah, then there's also the roof, which is called the walls. Ha! Huh. <laughs> okay, I found Sea Storm first. So, I was the last one found last time, so I got to be it. So, that means that Mr. Rumi 37 will be it this time after we find him. Mr. Boomy 37, I know he likes to hide in the leaves, so I'm going to look there. You know, when I first built this thing, I didn't even know what I would use it for. Until I came up with this idea. Um, he also hit on the roof before. Yeah, if we start getting bored of it, then I think we'll... <laughs> this trap door. Uh, it's very hard to get up. <laughs> you have to be skilled to get on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I think Mr. Boomy37 might be hiding up here, knowing him. Oh. Oh, you know what I forgot is my 9.5 minute timer. <laughs> um. Oh, Sea Storm got up. There isn't very much places to hide up here, but the thing is, people won't think to hide up here because it will be too hard for them to get up there. Just a second, opening my timer. Uh, dude. There we go. Got my timer up. Start it. Okay. This is why we got steak. So, we aren't allowed to move yet, but sometimes if we get bored of the game, then we'll add in the rule that allows you to move. So he's not up there. He's probably more buried in the leaves. There are some places, like, deep back here. Like, through there, I think you can hide. There he is. <laughs> okay, so now Mr. Movie 37 is it, and he gets to find us while the two of us hide. Yeah, oh yeah, he was it first. Who hasn't been it? Uh, Sea Storm hasn't been it yet. Yeah, he's hit every time. Okay. 
so put us back into creative mode. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, about two seconds of audio desyncing now. And it's time to go. So anything you say, not that it will really matter in this, because commentary isn't that accurate to what's going on. But anything I say will be... Uh, anything that I say... Uh, sometimes speaking is hard. Whatever, my voice will... Anything you hear me say, I will have said like two seconds earlier. So, now we just wait for him to start seeking and see which of us he finds first. It's more of a game of who's found first. Ooh. And, oh. Okay, good. He's sneaking. <laughs> Seastrom wasn't sneaking there for a second. I was like, he's going to find you first and you have to be found second to be it. Oh. No. Sneak. 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 He's not sneaking. Oh no. Mr. Boomy37 is going to find him. <laughs> Oh, well. Yeah. I think soon we should... We might want to do games with moving aloud where you can sneak around. Which makes it harder to find people. They can last longer. <laughs> so yeah, and then after this we'll do some spleef. And it looks like that, at this rate, it's going to take up the entire episode. Ooh, I see him. I wonder if he'll find me. Or C. I think he might have already found C. But I can't exactly check that right now. What? Oh. He was sneaking for a second. It's like, the, the seeker isn't allowed to sneak. That's one of the rules. You have to be able to see them. That especially is important in the ones where you're allowed to move. So, oh, in you, hmm, hello, you're here. Ghost mode. <laughs> Go back to your spot. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mr. Rumi 37, every now and then he gets this thing called ghost mode, and I don't know if there's any official term for it, but we can't seem to find anything in Google about it. We're basically, to him, he's moving around freely in the world, but to us, he's just staying in place and not moving. Whenever we look up ghost mode, we just find the ones where people do it on purpose, which is pretty much the same effect. Okay. So, I don't think he's found me yet, actually. Not sure, though. Oh. Or C. Hasn't found either of us yet, I think. Oh. He remembers where I am from ghost mode. Okay. So now the two of us can team up to find C. I think he's in the leaves. But I'm not positive. Ha! <laughs> okay, so now sees it for the first time. So now the two of us hide and he finds us. Okay. I think he's chatting. That was surprising. <laughs> I know. He was sneak. There was that time when he wasn't shifting, and yet I was still found first. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Get down. Oh, I don't even know where to go. How about the maze? Yeah, I can talk. I can talk where I'm going this time, because he sees it. Well, actually, that still might not be the best idea. I'm not going to say anything else on the topic, because. Maybe Mr. Rooney 37 will be found first, and then he'll know where I am, because that I said that earlier, and he can help C find me faster. Most of that really matters. At that point, I would already be found second, or whatever. 
Ooh. That's a... I think this is even... I think this is actually the best spot I've ever been. Either that or the second best. Huh. Interesting. The fusicated name. If you press control really quickly, you only see one, like, one frame of the name. And it looks like it's just normal characters and not constantly moving. This looks like Sea Storm is looking around in the maze right now. No idea where Mr. Moo 37 went. Somewhere. But that's for the better in case he finds me first. So yeah, the doors is probably the worst place to hide, I'd say. There isn't very much, but if you're allowed to move, then it's not that bad. About 15 minutes into the episode already. Jeez. Maybe we should do a few moving rounds after this, and then move on to Spleef. And then end off the episode. <laughs> Didn't realize how long this would take. You can tell if they're within... One of the cool things is the health. I think you can only see that if you're within 7 blocks of a player. Oh. Hi. <laughs> so, then you know if they're close to you or not that way. Then again, you can also just see the size of the name. Oh, I think Seastorm might know the way out. That could be helpful. Oh. Oh, well, we're not looking for the way out right now. Looks like he thinks Fish Room 37 is in there. Oh, yeah, one time... Uh, when we were playing with Dankus Korean, I hid behind this melon golem, because that's allowed as long as you're, like, according to the rules above. You have to be within all this ore blocks or inside the queue. And he actually didn't see me for a while. I was found first, but he went past me quite a few times. Let's go where no one thinks he'd be. The doors. Oh, looks like someone left all the doors open again. Probably when Mr. Rumi 37 was seeking. He always leaves all the doors open. You're supposed to close them. Oh, I saw his name back here. <laughs> he went too close. Hi. <laughs> now we can move. Still sneak, though. Maybe do one or two rounds of moving, and then move on to Spleef. Oh no, okay, harder round for me. Mr. Rumi 37, he's seeking. Oh well. I'll be it if you want. Let's see? Someone has to be it. <laughs> okay. Then you get moving round. Oh. Go. About 20 minutes in now. So in this round, we're allowed to move. Oh. Actually, no. No, I have to hurry. So, like, we can... We stay shifting the entire time, but we're allowed to move from place to place. Actually, no. I think... Oh, I'm wasting so much time. I think this is a good place to do that. Oh, wow. I just picked a horrible path. Oh, no. I'm going to be found first. <sighs> hurry, 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 hurry. Huff, puff. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> uh, that didn't work out too well for me. Now let's find the moving sea. Poet, and I didn't even realize it. I go to roof. Doors isn't too terrible when you're allowed to move. So I'm thinking he might be in here somewhere. Maybe. This is the staircase to the third, or to this floor, second floor, actually, in case you're wondering. Well. So I think C's up here then. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Then's belief. Okay. So C will be it this round, and then we'll do spleef. Okay. Okay, everyone agrees. Yay. So one last round. Another moving round. Three. Oh, I think he's replying. Maybe he doesn't want the moving round. Oh, two. Just counting really slowly, I guess. Thinking of building in a countdown with command blocks down there just so you don't have to say it. Maybe even the 30 second timer. What? Oh. Oh, I guess he just went into ghost mode. Oh, well, I thought they removed that command block. <laughs> Apparently not. Because, yeah, some stuff with command blocks, which I guess I'll have to show you next episode, so. You have to wait a little bit longer to know what's been happening on the server, I guess. Oh, well. Because, yeah, at this rate, we aren't going to have any spare time. Oh, yeah. The walls. That's actually a pretty good place to go with moving. Probably the best. Yes, I made it up. I think Mr. Ruin37 said whenever there's a moving round, he'll always hide up here. One time. Which doesn't seem to be true anymore, though. And you actually can't quite see to there from here. Down the ledge. Get away from the edge, though. He might be able to see my name. So yeah, this is a great place to go for moving. And at this rate, it looks like we might have about 5 minutes left for spleef. Because I like to make my episodes about 30 minute long. Just not... So it's not too long and not too short. 30 minutes is typically the maximum you want. He is coming. Get away from the front edge. He might see my name over the fence. So yeah, as you can tell, Mr. Room 37 is up here too. Which means once one of us is found, it won't be that hard to find the other. You know, it's also really good since the sound is off. You could actually, like, while he's looking around up here, then you could sneak down to the leaves and hide somewhere in there. Or some other area where he's already checked. Where is he right now? I want to try and guess what floor he's on. Oh. That looks like the doors. But I can't be sure. Um, based on the way he's moving, I think he's in the maze. So, I think when he comes up here, I'm going to try and sneak past him and go down the trap door and then hide in the maze. If I have that much time. And assuming it sounded is off too. I'm not quite sure if he actually turned it off. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I have lots to show you. Stuff has changed like usual. Where is he now? Actually, I think I'll hide behind the melon golems. I think that would be a good idea. He read the rules thoroughly, so he should know that you're allowed to hide there. So... Follow his name. I think he's trying to find his way out of the maze right now. That's what it looks like to me. And then he's going to go up to the leaves or the doors. Looks like he's looking through the doors now. This is actually a pretty long round. Okay. This episode might go a bit longer than typical episodes do. Oh. He is coming, I think. No, wait, he's... His name's too small. He's on the second floor somewhere. Then he'll look in the leaves, then up on the roof, and then I'll sneak down to the forest he's already checked. And I shall be found second. Okay, he's up here now. His name just enlarged. Okay, my guess is that when he goes up here, he's going to go in that direction, so I'm going to hide behind the wall on this side and then try and sneak past him. Hopefully he does go that direction. We'll just have to see. So now I think he's looking through the few good hiding places in the leaves. 
actually didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. Looks like now he's trying to derp up the trapdoor. Yeah, that derpy trapdoor. <laughs> oh, don't see me. Okay. Did he just start sneaking? The seeker isn't allowed to. Okay. I think some people think... I think sneaking might be able to help you get up the trapdoor. Okay, now... Oh, I'm scared. No. 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 Oh shoot, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. No! Dang it. Oh no. Jai, close enough. <laughs> now, Boomy's up here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Unless he is drastically moved. Oh. Hi. Okay. <laughs> so now we will do some spleef. Uh, now find my way out of the queue. In. Once everyone gets out, flip this lever. Okay. And push this button to get up to Spleef. The loser rep- oh. Never mind. Did that MVM not top, not type? Why can't I type? Um, let's uh, just relog. <laughs> oh, I can actually turn my sound back on now. Why is my music still off? I know why it was off, but it doesn't need to be anymore. Is someone breaking? That's probably Sea Storm breaking the glass. Oh, Mr. Movie 37, apparently. Two, one. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, command blocks, they break instantly in survival mode. No idea why, but they do. Ah, oh, dang it. I lost. Oh, C did. Either C did or it broke. There's a chance of that. So now, Boomy is going to repair the command blocks like he said he would. Looks like C Storm's doing some stuff. Uh, oh, C Storm's resetting. Okay. Sure. And then usually, oh yeah, this episode's going over time. Mm, not over time yet. Let's all reset. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. When three people try to place a block in the same spot, it doesn't turn out too well. Game mode back to two. Oh. Dang it. That won't work. That won't work. I need zero. I'm used to game moding to two, actually. Um, well, I choose this quadrant. <laughs> totally did not fall down here by accident. Okay. No eye. Meh. It doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Cunt, cunt, cood. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Instantaneous command block breaking. If you're running a vanilla sleeve server, ah, this is the material to use. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> See wins. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes when I was repairing this before, one time earlier, me and just Boomy, just me and Boomy were playing, and he would always repair, and I would try and stay down here as long as possible, and then like fall in the last hole to get teleported back up. 
And he'd try and prevent me from making it back up. <laughs> Game mode 2 at A. Oh. Why do I keep doing that? Game mode 0 at A. <laughs> oh, I need to eat some steak. Yeah, this episode's a bit over time. Let's use this squadron again. I am low. You forgot to get food? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Darn, he chose the golden apples. They don't give you any kind of speed or anything, so I don't think that'd be considered cheating. Okay. Oh, he's counting. Sure. Yeah, I wouldn't consider myself good at Spleef. This is the first time- before we did- I did it with just me and Boomy. This is the first three player. Yeah, I don't ever think I did Spleef with Dank. Oh! ah, Dang it. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> How did he die? I wasn't even noticing. Maybe one of you would know. Maybe you could post it in the comments, I don't know. I think it even matters that much. Prepare the four, because it really needs it this time. Oh, why are there golden carrots? Oh, I'm guessing C thought they were food, and so he grabbed them when he was in creative mode. No wait, golden carrots are food. Maybe he thought they gave you night vision or something. I just think golden carrots weren't, because glistering melons aren't, so why would golden carrots be? Oh, dang it. I get rid of carrot for space for Mon book. <laughs> Game O zero. Oh. Let's do this one. Let's be different. Oh. Which ones will C do? Will he do as usual, or will he use mine? <laughs> Kataro. Yes, I have Optifine. As you probably have noticed by now. Like, you can't see Mr. Wing 37's potion effects from his golden apple. But I have other particles on. Ugh. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Uh, this isn't actually the most fun game because it, it's so short and it takes a while to re uh, repair and I fell on a pressure plate. It's still kind of fun though. Enough for now. See if they want to continue. Continue. Let's see if C wants to. Oh, I did not chat. I think I borked again. I think I need to relog. Yeah, well, even if they do want to continue, I'll, I should probably stop recording now. Because I don't want to bore you with repairing command block fours. Don't exactly know how to cut yet. <laughs> CFC wants to continue. Stop or go. Actually, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm not bored, or I'm good, I don't want to do this anymore. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm done for now anyway. <laughs> Mr. 37. Well, let's just give a quick tour of what's changed. I've put a lot more plants around my area, because I don't think it'd take me a full 30 minutes like last time. 
And, yeah, just put a lot of plants around my area. Oh, maybe this will be like a 40 minute episode. Well. Oh yeah, he's not an op. There you go. Mr. Roomie 37 has officially started a prank wars between me and him. He doesn't want Sea Storm or Dank because who knows what they do. And he even remembered to put it in the reflection. <laughs> he kind of like had clogged my toilet with an eye of Ender or something he had joked about before. Yeah. And... I don't even remember what you have and haven't seen. Yeah, this will be a bit longer than I was... Then I'd wish, but oh well. This is a little joke on Seastorm because he likes Doctor Who. <laughs> this is teleports you to my snow biome, which I am here I am trying to use the layered snow. And I work back, apparently. And like smooth out all these edges, so instead of an entire one meter drop, everything is gradual like this. Which, this is taking a while to do, actually. I'm not- this- I feel like this will be a never done project. I'm not even planning on doing the whole thing. Did a little area over here, too. Didn't even reach ground level, it's funny. So yeah, that's what this is. Uh, head back to the plains biome. Wait for the chunks to function properly. In the meantime, that right there. Oh. Can I go back to Stronghold? No. These are a little, like, I just wanted to put a frame around a block to see if I could do it like that. That's the closest you can do to a frame around one block. A lot easier with four corners, though. This is a totem pole inspired by Mumbo Jumbo in his unlisted ep episode one of Mumbo's World 2. And I put a spir little spiral staircase in it, just because I can. <laughs> Over here, I grew a giant tree blob in the shape of a circle when I planted the saplings. Not exactly sure what I want to do with this yet. This is a little claustrophobic circular tunnel. Uh, this is a little building testing. Oh wow, this really is going long. I better hurry up. These are- those are daylight sensors with glowstone behind them, and look! Vertical slabs in Possibru! Except these are really upside down and right side upstairs, and like, half slab, floor, and ceiling cause it to look- Just create that illusion. Put some waffles around it, because I like them. X-ray! Not going to bother using that. Down here, is the Oracle by Panda2479. That, that, I don't think that's 4994, that's what it is. Getting mixed up with JL. Uh, yeah. It, you put a dragon egg on the middle, and you right click on it and go to yes or no. Still a bit buggy. All the strings to keep it from teleporting to other areas. Over here, found another zombie dungeon on my plot. Mr. Fumi37. He's not happy. I have like seven spawners on his plot, and he has like, on my plot, and he has like none, and he's the one that will has ideas to use them. This is like a little like quick sprint jump haul. Yeah, of course there's problems with flying in creative mode. That was I don't need this anymore. This was to remind me to make that little Doctor Who thing. And I think that's it. Yeah, lots more plants in my area. More life given to it. Why no strength? Aw, oh, darn. I thought he found my... Oh, the beacon. I have strength. He must not be close enough. Oh yeah, and also my texture pack. Did some work on the GUIs to make them, like, have the text better aligned on them. Main thing that needs to be worked on is the furnace. And I am really indecisive about glass. Like, this is like a 32x detailed texture pack with like light blue lines. Glass is very hard to do in vanilla. And I need some a solution for vanilla because in my single player I play on snapshots. And yeah, 
I actually... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Now's actually a good time. to say that there's a wreath, because then I'd give it away. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh... Dang it, that didn't work. They were supposed to... Looks like my prank failed, I guess. I need to get him into game mode too. He should die instantaneously. Why isn't he dead? This command block should be spamming him with instant death, instant damage. Enough to kill him. That prank failed, I guess. Dang it. <laughs> I was going to prank him where he would do the instant dam- he would turn on his speed thing to race down there but instead he'd get instant damage and it would kill him and he would respawn over here because I set his spawn point and he would see this sign there it is but it apparently failed oh well so much for that prank but this video is getting to the prank log Didn't, uh, someone set their beacon to speed two again. <sighs> no speed two. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Sea Storm's thrown. He moved the beacon because I put an ice block above it because I didn't like having speed two. Oh, so much has happened. This episode's getting way too long already. This dragon egg anvil thing. Firework dispenser that used to have a clock hooked up to it. This is his chest where he keeps stuff. He has a bunch of x-ray holes and stuff. But yeah, I should really end this episode. He's adding some sort of redstone to his throne. Not sure what that's about. But yeah, thanks for watching. This episode's way too long at this point. Bye.